Well... Huh? <sighs> oh. What are you trying to do? Change your mind? evening. Do you remember anything from the moment you took the medicine until now? Hmm. By the look in your eyes, I'd say you don't. You briefly woke from your coma, but you were completely dazed during the entire examination. You eventually lost consciousness and fell back asleep. Are you out of your mind? Only an idiot would have drank that. Fine. By the way, the reason you lost consciousness was because of the taste. It produces a foul smell when it mixes with gastric juices, similar to Sir Stroming. Oh well, all that matters is that thanks to you, I was able to get some good data. Okay, it's my turn to make good on my part of the deal. That's why I waited until you woke up. I don't want the general public to know about my original medicines. So, you're strictly prohibited from disclosing what happens here to anyone. Understood? then it's a deal. As long as you come here for it, I'll give you the medicine at a good price whenever you want. I may even add additional selections in time. I look forward to your continued patronage. Considering all the actions you've taken, you must have had someone with medical expertise. Who? And how did you treat your wounds? It'll be easy to find out who if we look into this, you know. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the death persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. So, when can you come back for the next clinical trial? Oh. You don't remember that part either? Well, I was saying that teenage test subjects are quite valuable in the medical research industry. So I'll provide you the medicine for your entrance exams, and in exchange, you'll be my guinea pig. I have to perfect this medicine. If you're able to move now, you can go home. All right, take care.
Hey. All right, take care. Please head to the exam room. What? By the way, care. head to the exam room. Huh? 
Take care. By the way, Allergies are so annoying. Ah, you're 
back. There's no one here. Please head to the exam room. <sighs> Hello? suppose. <laughs> 
sorry. All right. I don't know what to say. care. trying to do. Forgive you.
What is it? Huh? What's the meaning of this? Wait, what? I see. Mm -hmm. Do you have time? Take care.
Hold on a sec. What is it? Huh? What's the meaning of this? Wait, what? I see. Mm -hmm. Do you have time? Take care. Go. Here. Anyway... See you later.
Hey. Let's go. Hey. Is that so? Well then... That was absolutely delicious. I've been here a time or two, but I don't remember the coffee being so good. Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Your data has been extremely helpful due to your generic body type and bland health history. You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. So, thanks again. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? For your escapades with the Phantom Thieves, I mean. Come on, you and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. I visited Oyamata in jail. A swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the Phantom Thieves. And to have it happen when it did, isn't the only logical conclusion to think that it's you? A normal person would probably notify the police. Well, I don't care. The point is that without you, I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine while I was being deceived by Oyamata. And I would have never met any of the townspeople. I bet the Phantom Thieves save people in need. Just like doctors do, huh? So, I'll go out on a limb for you. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. You are my boyfriend after all. You'll use the medicine correctly, won't you? I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of death, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Hey, this is where you live, right? Where's your room? Upstairs? Is your guardian home? Then, it's just the two of us. Really? Then, would you like a thorough examination? I guess I'll start off by examining your eyes. I'll just have to take my time examining you. Hmm? What a crowd. Anyway, thanks for coming. Were you hoping to see me today? Aren't you straightforward? 
Well then, I can be honest too. I'm glad to hear it. So, what happens after this? If you don't have anything in mind, we can go out to eat. Don't worry, no experiments today. Cool, let's go. Oh, uh, but first, this usually isn't my style, but it's Christmas, so... Would you like to hold hands? Jeez, Christmas Eve really clogs this place up. Didn't think all the restaurants would be totally booked. Where do you learn these lines? Cake first though, right? Once we've got that, you can feed me all the cheesy schlock you want. Let's go look for one. I wouldn't get your hopes up. You wouldn't happen to have any Christmas cakes left, would you? Actually, we do! What? One of our orders was cancelled last minute. This is the only cake we have. Well, in that case... We'd like to buy it. Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. Can you believe that? Slow down. We'll get to enjoy it soon. Just the two of us. Mm, that's good. Maybe we should do this more often. How about you? Having fun? <laughs> wow, I didn't know you were so worked up about it. Well, maybe I can make this a little more exciting. Here's your present. Not handmade or anything, okay? Just so you know this wasn't some huge labor of love. You can be pretty sweet sometimes. <laughs> hmm. Got a chill down your spine? You had cream on your nose. No idea how it got there, but... Hey, as far as your other identity goes, I figure it's not my business, but as long as we're making this work somehow, I might as well say this. I can at least tell how much you and the other phantom thieves go through to save people. I am your girlfriend, after all. I just wanted to acknowledge that it's thanks to those efforts that I found my own calling. I really am glad I've got you. Take a compliment for once. Still, I gotta say, you've got some weird taste. People talk. But what it comes down to is that the Phantom Thieves are these big modern heroes, right? Never really thought of myself as girlfriend material let alone for a hero. <laughs> all right already. Bring it down a notch, smooth talker. Who are you trying to impress? Oh, look. It's really coming down out there. I never fell for this stuff. All oh, the snowfall, the romance. I'm not exactly the swooning type. Didn't think I was, anyway. Jeez, I'm supposed to be the adult here, but you're the one who keeps supporting me. I've never been happier. How about you? It's good, right? I feel like I'm gonna wake up any second now and all this will be gone. You're right. Maybe everything can just be nice for once. Hey, I don't know if I should be going home in all that snow. You get what I'm saying, right? Come on, let's go to bed. You're working at the shop from tomorrow onward, right?
Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. Oh, boy. Good evening. Should I come back later? Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. You seem to be doing well. Sure. It's nice to see you again. You don't look like you've got any issues. That's my line. Suicide in jail, then New Year's in the reformatory? Ex post facto isn't exactly gonna cover this, you know? Honestly, can't take my eyes off you for a second, but I guess I'd better get to the point. Here. Chocolates. Don't worry, there's nothing too dangerous in them. Sadly, no. Were you hoping for that? That new medicine for that girl I told you about has been working really well. And the day-to-day -day work's going fine. I'm a regular neighborhood doctor now. Thanks. I just hoped you were safe. But looks like you made it home without a scratch. Guess I had nothing to worry about. Something wrong? I see. Can I sit next to you? I know that look in your eyes. You've made up your mind. Maybe a little. Maybe a lot. I can't lie to you. By the way, something's different about you. Hasn't been too long since I saw you last, but... You've got a little more confidence now or something. Still, I guess I've changed too. As a doctor, I've still got the usual obligations to help my patients, but now I feel like I've got something a little more specific. Like, I could risk it all to make one person happy. But you're a smart guy. I don't have to draw you a picture. I was never really into younger guys. What? Something wrong? Shinagawa? Why? Well, I guess that's a stupid question. I'm at work, but I can take off early. I'll see you there. You know, some studies suggested aquariums are good for relieving anxiety. Now that I'm actually in one, I think I get what they're saying. You know what I mean. I'm having a nice time. And having my little guinea pig here definitely doesn't hurt. Never would have guessed I'd be going on aquarium dates at my age. Kind of nice, though. I get that feeling a lot with you. Pretty hard to get used to. Thank you, by the way, for returning the favor in your own way. Oh yeah? I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if you can surprise me. I think I've seen enough fish for one day. So, what now? Oh, really? Then let's see this place. This is a little more than I expected. Yeah, in a way. It's my first time coming here with someone I'm actually into, so... Just when I think he can't surprise me anymore, 
My guinea pig somehow keeps outdoing himself. A guy like you is wasted on me, you know. It's a real tragedy. <laughs> I didn't mean to go fishing for that, but thanks. Sorry, one second. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Hmm? What's going on? Wow. What? <laughs> thank you. A starry cityscape and roses, huh? Don't you think that's a little much? Really? Not at all? I can't even tell if that's sarcasm. That's something I've always liked about you. It's never just about you. You always go to these crazy lengths to make other people happy. I really admire that. And I guess I've been trying to learn from it. Makes me think I gotta work on myself a little before I deserve you. Sweet thing to say. Well, after all this effort, I should at least return the favor somehow. Maybe my guinea pig has a suggestion? You came. I wanted to update you on Miwa-chan. Her symptoms subsided thanks to the new medicine. She still has some way to go, but it won't be too long until I get to see her smile. It wasn't by my efforts alone. I wouldn't have been able to finish the new medicine without your help. Thank you so much, my little guinea pig. Oh, I guess I can't call you that now that you've helped me so much. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here, I want you to have this. So, here today, gone tomorrow, huh? Now, I'm just a neighborhood doctor. No more assistant. Wonder if it's gonna be rough without you. Well, the thought crossed my mind. But somehow, I think we'll be fine. And hey, if I feel like it, I can always surprise you with a house call. Look after yourself out there, all right? Not just for your own sake. <laughs>